Yet I tell you this, I am the process. I am God and I am the goddess. I am the supreme being, the all of everything, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. I am the sum and the substance, the question and the answer, the up and the down of it, the left and the right of it, the here and the now, the before and the after. I am the light and I am the darkness that creates the light and makes it possible. I am the goodness without end and the badness which makes the goodness good. I am all of these things, the all of everything, and I cannot experience any part of myself without experiencing all of myself. And this is what you do not understand about me. You want to make me the one but not the other, the high and not the low, the good and not the bad. Yet in denying a part of me, you deny a part of yourself. And in so doing, you can never be who you really are. I am the magnificent everything, and what I am seeking is to know myself experientially. I am doing this through you, this moment and every moment. I am doing this through everything that exists. And I am experiencing myself as magnificent through the choices I make. For each choice is self-creative. Each choice is definitive. Each choice represents me as who I choose to be right now. Yet I cannot choose to be magnificent unless there is something else to choose from. Some part of me must be less than magnificent for me to choose the part of me which is magnificent. So too is it with you. I am God in the act of creating myself. And so too are you. This is what your soul longs to do. This is that for which your spirit hungers. My greatest desire is to experience myself as what I am. I can only do that in the space of what I am not. And so I have carefully created what I am not in order that I may experience what I am. Yet I am everything I create. Therefore, I am in a sense what I am not. I am what I am. I am what I am not. This is the divine dichotomy. This is the divine mystery, which until now, only the most sublime minds could understand.